Okay, this is iBag um, back on. Um, I found a setting, uh, a max FPS setting in the config MP for the game. And now my um, frame per second, it, it rocks. I mean, it just plain rocks. I'm getting way more than I got with my, um, my old um, CPU. If you look at some of my old videos, I was maxing out at 125. Well, I didn't realize it, but that's what I had the max setting for. So I got to go back and test that thing now too. But this thing rocks. I mean, I'm seeing 130 FPS. Um, it's just plain awesome. 160, 107. I've never seen numbers like that before. It's awesome. So, yeah, I've got no frame per second problem with the Ryzen 1700, that's for sure. This thing kicks ass. And my, my, um, mouse sensitivity, I had to, I had to lower it. If you look at my first episode, I had to lower the mouse sensitivity. Uh, maybe I need to lower it some more. Oh, somebody's trying to get behind me. Time to move around. Okay. That got busy, but I didn't see that guy. So I'm having fun with this game, and, um... This is unbelievable. I mean, I'm I'm totally satisfied with the Ryzen uh, CPU and its gameplay. Totally. So don't let anybody on a review site bullshit you because this fucking thing rocks. You can change settings maybe in some of these games um, and get better performance out of it. So, you know, how much time did they really spend? They they had like a week to do their reviews on the release. I mean, how much time did they really spend setting up their game? How much do they even know about setting these games up? You know, so, you know, you gotta consider the source. See, I just rocked that guy, man, with that frame for a second. Well, I did 600 points of damage on that dude. And that was after he had time to recover. Wow, that was bad. Enemy recon plane right above us. Say, did he outplay me with his better machine, his Intel machine? I bet not. I mean, most of these guys are probably playing Intel. I really don't know. I, I'm just guessing, but... 
seeing how Intel's the leading seller, I would, I think it's a good guess. Well, why'd I get that? Another promotion. Gun's not strong enough to shoot that through that wall. I'm low on ammo. Enemy artillery. Uh oh, Artie. Sometimes there's aimbot Artie. I mentioned that in the last video. It doesn't miss. Thank you, boys, for giving me your guns. Yeah, I have to say that I, the, the fact is. This game is more fun than it's ever been. Yeah. Yep, I'm having a lot of fun. Just I'm not trying to do a commercial for AMD, I'm just having fun with my new machine. Well, I tried. Over about there. <laughs> yeah, I got him. <laughs> no, that was no um, that was no magnetic grenade either, man. That was just skill. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> got him with my buddy. Suck. They were waiting for me right there, weren't they? Yeah, I could do another grenade thing. They'll be out here.
So I haven't been looking, but wow, I'm getting 140 frames per second when the artillery is coming in. 120. I don't know what the average is, but it looks like the peak is 167. I see, I see 200s on there, man. I see a peak into 200, 300 even. Yeah, I'm getting. I think I'm getting more kills than I used to with the other machine. I mean, I, I get get more shots in. This can be a good spot right here. Especially if you got a sniper rifle. Sometimes when I'm standing there, I'll put a Betty right on myself like this. <laughs> and I got I went too far because of the gas. We're running out of time. Yeah, put a Betty here. Enemy recon and if they come up behind me like that to shoot me in the back, I got like something to take them out with. Sort of a revenge kill. Like that one. It was pre revenge. I knew he was gonna shoot me, and so I just put it down. Alright, well, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed watching uh, Rise and Kick Ass.